this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two community. And like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a messenger. I'm just every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. With that said, now, right now, um, with, with the huge farm sales and MO sales and stuff that we have, um, there's a big dilemma out there. Now, you know, a lot of people not talking about this and stuff like that because see, everybody's going with the momentum. You know, sometimes I like to pull myself back and look at things that is not really being looked at right now. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, we're looking at some of the articles that you have, ammunition and gun manufacturers and stuff. They're trying to ramp up capacity, keep up with demand and stuff. But then you have some manufacturers, gun and ammo manufacturers are right now are worried. Now, even though demand, they have made hand over fist, ammo manufacturers and gun manufacturers and gun shops and stuff. They're making money. They're making a whole lot of money now. A lot of money. There's a lot of farms that is out you know, the citizens have farms. I'm talking about there's a lot of farms that's out there right now. And we've seen when it comes to the evidence of the background checks, you know, over 40% of all buyers are first time buyers in ammo and gun sales and stuff. People still coming off the fence. So the momentum is going when it comes to the gun manufacturers and ammo manufacturers and stuff. The gun shops, your gun retailers, people waiting in line, you know, orders back, you know, back orders and all. So the momentum is going. But you still have manufacturers who have been through many a crisis and they don't want to be left, you know, holding the bag, people. They don't want to be left holding the bag. So you have ammo manufacturers and gun manufacturers are right now are very worried, you know, th with this election. Because in 2016, when Trump won, everything pretty much stopped and fell off. Now, I know a lot of you want to say that this pandemic and everything, this is going to keep going with the riot and the looting and everything. But see what you people what people don't understand is you you can when you have a, a small percentage to pretty much back off a small percentage you have inventory when it comes to the gun shops and stuff like that it's pretty much dry because right now some of the gun shops and stuff they're gonna come into a crisis they looking at because they can't get the inventory in their shop is getting thin I've been in many shops where now you're starting to see holes everywhere I know everybody been seeing the holes and stuff at your retailers and stuff you're seeing these holes. And the inventory is not coming back in, you know, like it's supposed to. Now, you know, when you're running a business and stuff, you want sales to be up. You want to sell stuff, but you got to have the inventory. But without the inventory, sales start to slip, people. It's slipping. So, you know, you having, you know, the retailers and stuff start to order more stuff and everything. And the problem is it happened in many of these crises when it comes to ammo, farms and everything. What's going to happen is if... The election turn out, you know, the way gun owners and stuff wanted to turn out. A lot of people is pretty much going to stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about everybody's keep claiming that, yeah, it's going to be people going to still keep buying and everything. But some of the air will be let out of the room, people. I'm just telling you, some, it's fact. Some of the air is going to be let out of the room. And you're going to and gunshots going to see that foot traffic pretty much drop some. Now, whether it's a 10 or 15 percent. 20% drop on the first time buyers or whatever the case may be because you know a lot of people when they get some news that you know they're more relaxed and everything they tend to ease up a little bit now some of you people want that to happen because then in more inventory stuff come in and stuff come in that you're trying to get there are going to be people that's going to be consistent buying this stuff and getting this stuff no matter what happened with the election but if if Trump real is reelected some of the air is going to be let out of the room and a lot of the gun manufacturers and ammo manufacturers don't want to be left holding the bag like before. And so they're kind of cautious about, you know, bringing in new equipment, hiring a whole bunch of people and everything. And then, you know, the election, if Trump reelecting everything and then boom, some of the demand slip and fall off a little bit. Because as you start easing into next year in 2021 and, you know, if the riot and looting, I'm talking about nobody knows what's going to happen. I'm talking about some people predict that it's going to just keep going. I'm talking about it's going to get, you know, keep going or whatever. And if it, if it do, I'm talking about you still probably have a little sales and stuff going on that and everything with this pandemic and stuff. But it will ease back. You might not think, but it kind of will ease, pull back a little bit. Unless something else major come down, but it might pull back a little bit. And if it pull back, the ammo manufacturers don't want to be left holding the bag. So that is... 
some of the, the caution that's out there, some of the articles and stuff I've been reading about a lot of manufacturers and stuff like that. Because, you know, they had went through this many a times and stuff, and they had seen demand go from point A down to point B very quick. And like I told you before, um, to my, you know, when Trump was elected in 2016, sales were through the roof. Soon he was elected. Pretty much the next day, headlines changed. You know, gun shop, seeing sales just slide right off. I'm to my, you know, it goes from you can't find nothing in the gun shop within two weeks after the election. Gun shops and stuff are full, plenty of ammo and stuff on the shelf. So we have to look at that aspect. Now, to my understand that a lot of people predict that these riots and looting off, nobody knows people. And, you know, every time I predicted something in different need crisis or whatever, it turns around so fast. It turns around quick. And, you know, you probably, it'll turn around quicker than you would think. And then guess what? A lot of your online websites, the prices and stuff on ammo, pretty much going to change overnight. And then a lot of people are going to be upset because they don't bought these prices, double the prices and everything. And then, you know, when that happened at the end of the day, the secret people is once all this stuff dropped down or whatever, most people are going to be broke. Because they was caught up in the panic buying and everything. So, you know, I just want to talk about that a little bit and everything. Because when you go through different one, different ammo crisis and stuff, people, you start to kind of get an aspect of what's going on. And then a lot of times when you're in the middle one like we in now, you really can't see what's going to happen down the road. But it's amazing how so many things turn around and some things happen. And, you know, so that's why I said be cautious right now. You're not purchasing, buying stuff. We'll kind of see where this election go at. You know, don't go out and panic buying and stuff. But uh, ammo and gun manufacturers, they're pretty much cautious. They're being very cautious right now. That is, that is the you know, the word on the street when it comes to manufacturers and stuff like that. They're being very cautious because they don't want to be left holding the bag and doing all this extra stuff. And then all of a sudden, boom, everything slides off. So I want to talk about that a little bit because uh, it's a lot of articles out there talking about this. Ammo manufacturers, gun shops, a lot of people are very cautious. So on the business side, when it comes to the 2A community, they're being cautious. On the other side of the 2A community, people are just out buying hand over fist and everything. So, you know, like I said, they know that they love the sale. They're enjoying the sale. They ain't seen nothing like it. People been in the industry for years. But they do know on that backside, things can fall off very quick. So um, just want to kind of explain that because a lot of first-time buyers pretty don't know, you know, when they hear all this stuff. I have videos talking about it, questions and stuff. So I'm just trying to pretty much unravel some of the questions and stuff of the first-time buyers and stuff and existing buyers. I'm I guess help everyone. Help me, help myself. I'm learning from y'all. So this is these Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.